Hello there, we're going to get rid of the pesky right click menu in this video so we're going to look at getting rid of the uh, way that people cheat in a lot of flash games. If we run it we can see that when we right click we have this option to play and that lets someone skip through all the frames of your SWF which isn't great, it can also lead to a lot of bugs so we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to do this in the, the timeline again I'm assuming that if you've stuck with me this far, you will have an understanding of how to move this code from here into the document class, and there's nothing wrong with putting it there. In fact, it's probably better that you do this in the document class. I'm just keeping it here so that anyone joining the series at this point can still take something away from the video. So we're at the top of the first keyframe of the timeline. I've just nudged all the other code further down. I could have just collapsed it, I suppose. And what we're going to do is make our own menu. We'll put right click menu. And to do that, we make a variable and we'll give it a name. We'll call it my menu. And it's going to be of type context menu, which will import itself when I press space. There we go. You do need that import. If you're working in, AS, uh, in CS3 or CS4, you'll have to import that. Bar my menu, which is a context menu, equals new context menu. Doesn't take any arguments. And then what we have to do is set the context menu of this, this movie clip to be our new menu. So we're just going to access the context menu and set it to be the one we've just made. If we test that, we'll, we won't really notice a difference. All we've done is replace this menu with one we've made. But now we can edit that because it's ours, we've made it, we can say my menu, uh, in fact I'll comment it first, we'll hide, hide the built-in items of our menu so that the play button doesn't appear. And to do that we put the name dot hide and it drops us to it, it's hide built-in items and again this doesn't take any arguments, it's just a function. And now when we test that and right click we can see that we don't get the play option. There are ways around that for sneaky hacker types but the vast majority of people playing your game will not be able to skip through your game anymore. So that's always good. We'll take it a few steps further, we'll start putting our own options into this menu just so you could, I don't know, link to, link to your website or you could have some instructions, you could even use the right click menu as a feature of your game, not many people do it but it is possible. So we're going to make our own menu item to display a message. And we're going to call, we'll make a variable, we'll call it my menu item. This time the type is context menu item. There we go and that will import itself again. You do need that. Equals new context menu item. And this time we need to give it a, a caption which represents the text that you see in the menu. And I'm just going to put hi there. For now. We won't see it yet so we need to add it to the menu. And to do that we do my menu dot and we get to the items in this menu by choosing the custom items property which you'll notice here is an array and to add items to an array we push so we'll do my menu dot custom items dot push and we'll give it my menu item if we try that now right click you can see that we've got a little message saying hi there so far so good Let's say you don't want that menu item selectable. There are various properties that you can manipulate, like uh, my menu item dot enabled, for example. You can just put equals false. That way, when we come to it, it's just grayed out text. There's nothing to select. Finally, just to close up, keep this video quite short, I'll um, add an event listener to this item so that when we click on it, something happens. So I'm going to get rid of the enabled part. Let's say navigate to my website <coughs> when the menu button is clicked. 
So we'll add an event listener there. My menu item dot add event listener and the type we want has popped up for us at the top. Again, that will import an event class and you do need that. I will call it go to my site. So we need that function there. Explain go to my site and use the navigate to URL function. So I'm making a function called go to my site and it's taking a context menu event. So I'm going to use context menu event as the variable name. Tell it what type it is. It's a context menu event. There you go. And we're into the body of the function. So we're going to use the navigate to URL function for the first time. And this takes a bit of information in, uh, namely a link to your site. So let's make, a, first off, we'll make a variable. We'll call it URL. And it's going to be a URL request. And this will import another library for us. So we're building up quite an amount here. These could all go into your document class and they would work. So we're going to make a URL request. So it's going to be new URL request. And in there, you've just got to put the address you're after. So I'm going for HTTP slash slash www.eyes-squared.co.uk slash block. If you've never visited that website, go and check it out now. Pause the video, go look. So that's the URL. Uh, and then we just navigate to it. So let's use the navigate to URL function. Navigate to URL. Open the function. We'll put URL into it. And then the second option, we're not seeing it, the code hint because I don't think I've imported this. So let's have a look. Where would it be? Import flash.net probably. Dot nav. Yeah, there we go. So we need to import that as well. And now when I type the brackets, it should do a code hint. Yeah. So we've passed the request that we've made. We've made this URL, uh, URL request. And we can tell it where to pop up, what sort of window to do. Now I tend to just go for the HTML option of blank, which means it'll pop up in a new window. You could tell it to pop up in the current window by using something like top or possibly, I think, self might be one. But blank's the best bet. You don't want people to go away from your page just to visit this other link. You want both of them. Give them the choice to come back to where they navigated from. Let's check that that works. Test it. It'll probably give me an error saying that my settings aren't letting me access it. So let's click it. Oh, it's working. And there you go. It takes you straight to my site. And I think we'll leave it there for this video. There's how you get rid of the pesky right-click menu and adapt it to be something a bit more fitting. Let's just change the message before we go. Visit my site. Much better. Okay, I'll see you in the next video where I might well be doing the last one in this series. Goodbye for now.